Hi, everyone. This is Nancy, and I haven't talked to you, all of you for such a long time. Today, I'm making a video about holiday stress since the holidays are upon us, especially this year during COVID, which where things are going to be so much harder for many, many people. What I want to say is holidays for people who are either grieving or have had trauma in their lives is often a time of triggers and feeling very anxious or very depressed. So I'm going to give you a few tips of things that can help you during this time. The first thing is your breath. Remember, we take our breath wherever we go. And our breath is one of the major calming parts of our nervous system. So when we breathe, we can breathe several different ways. We can either breathe in slowly and hold it and then breathe out. Let's try that again. Breathe in and breathe out. You do that a few times, especially if you're incredibly anxious, you may find that your body will calm down. If you're feeling numb, one of the things that you can do your breath is breathe really fast. And that's to wake you up, to wake you up so that you can actually feel and experience what's happening. Another place that I always say is our favorite place during the holiday is the bathroom. Remember that if you're overwhelmed with the people that are with you or they're really bothering you, even though this year there might not be many people there, go into the bathroom. Really get the water very, very cold and then splash it on your face and take a breath. And of course, if you need to, you can always reapply your makeup. Now, go out back into the room and then your face. Remember our face. Experts say that there are more nerve endings from our facial muscles to our brain than any other part of our body. So what I ask you to do is relax all of your facial muscles from your forehead to your eyes to your cheekbones to your jaw and even your tongue. And then just like the Mona Lisa, just do a half smile. If you do that, it's not for the other people. It's to send a calming, pleasant messages to your brain so that you can feel better. Now, if you're really grieving during these holidays, which I know many of us are during COVID, this is a time not to necessarily push away the memories of your loved one, but to embrace them, to experience their presence and their love, to let yourself shed tears, which have cleansing chemicals in them. Maybe set up a special place at the table for them, a candle, whatever you need just to honor this person that you love. Because when we push it away, it often just gives us a headache or makes us tense. And then the last thing I'd like to encourage all of you to do is trying to remember to do some stretches and leaning back, just opening your chest, feeling the length of your body, and then on your own, just bending over and touching your toes and then slowly coming up. And then bringing your hands into a prayer position, or a namaste position, just to calm yourself. I hope you find this video helpful to you and hopefully I'll be doing some more. Bye, see you soon.